In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to edge blend screens here in PvP. All edge blending is done within the Screens tab of the Workspace Editor, so we'll head there now. And the fastest way to get there, of course, is to click the little pencil icon in the top right corner of the screen, and that'll open up the Workspace Editor. You're going to want to make sure that you're here on the Screens tab. You'll see here that I currently have two screens here in my project. One's an SDI screen, the other one's a custom screen because I don't have another monitor or display actually attached directly to the computer, but that's fine. A custom display will work just fine. And you can actually edge blend any two or more uh, displays of any type. So it doesn't actually matter that one is SDI and one doesn't actually exist. We can still set up that edge blend. Here in PvP3, there's two different types of edge blends you can do. You can edge blend horizontally, so we can edge blend both of these screens, say, by these edges here, or you can do a vertical edge blend as well, and we'll show both of those here in this tutorial. So in order to edge blend these two screens, I'm going to move my mouse over here to the right-hand corner of this screen and click where it says Create Edge Blend. Then I'm going to be able to select either an existing screen that I already have, which is the screen two here, or I can create another screen and use that as my edge blend. I'm simply going to select screen two, as that's what I already have here. And you'll see as soon as I do that, now these screens are joined together. You can also see that over here under configured screens, that it's screen one and screen two. So now as I click and drag, it's going to move both of them around. Now, you'll also notice here on the right hand side that my properties area looks a little bit different than for just a single screen. And then I also have this blend area selection down here at the bottom. These are all of our settings specifically for the edge blend. So you'll see as I grab one of these blue handles and move it in, I am increasing the size of the blend area, but I'm also decreasing the overall size of our screen. So you can see that again, as I move it one more time, that screen's getting smaller while the blend area gets bigger. Something new here in PvP3 is the ability to change the size of that blend area. So now you can decide that, oh, I want to blend maybe with, you know, something like 250 pixels, and you can either click and drag that to get to that point, or you can enter the new number here in the blend area. Or if you need more pixels than that, you can also enter that number here into the blend area and that will change our overall blend area here and show you what the total size of your output will be here. So that's a way that you can set this up here as you're doing just a regular horizontal blend. Of course, you have your options for the mode, the radius and the intensity so that you can change the actual blend area and what that looks like as well. And that's basically the horizontal edge blend. There's not too much more we can show you here in this tutorial as all edge blends, of course, will depend on what devices you're actually using in your signal flow, if that's TVs or projectors or what those may be, and also the spacing and setup of those in your room specifically. So this is simply just how to set up the edge blend here in the software. And of course, all of these values will differ based on where you're actually doing this blend. So we'll go ahead and delete these two screens and I'll show you how to do just a vertical edge blend. It's much the same as the horizontal. So we'll go ahead and create this one screen here. And like I was showing you earlier, you're simply just gonna move your mouse up here to where it says create edge blend and you'll click there. And then we'll create another screen here to actually make our vertical edge blend. And you'll see here that now we have our two screens. Our blend area is at the top. And just as in the other one, as I move this, we're gonna be changing our total blend area here, and then that's going to affect the overall size of our image up here at the top as well. And there's actually one more place that you can change a little bit more information. If you click on one of these individual screens, and the only way to do that is to select them from here in the configured screens area, then you'll see that you also have the ability to change positions and sizing of, those, of that screen individually, along with the gamma and black level of that screen. So if you need to match these images a little bit closer for screen one and screen two, you can do that by changing this gamma level here and this black level here. That's about it for setting up an edge blend here in PvP3. For more information on how to use the software and more tutorials on things like targets and masks here in the Workspace Editor to work with your edge blended screens, you can find that information online at www.renewedvision.com.